do these new approaches uh, still include the traditional agile practices uh, like uh, scrum kanban and uh, extreme programming uh, i think they can i think what happens is that the uh, these organizations uh, can be much more um, at choice with those things. I'll give you one example of this is that uh, if in some of these organizations, the idea of something like a single product owner that gets to make decisions uh, is, would be out of alignment. Like at Beardsorg, there's not a product owner on their autonomous team. At Morningstar, there's no one person that makes the decision. So I think a lot of the practices uh, of Scrum, Kanban, and XP, I think was the third one you mentioned there, uh, are still very valuable because they're derived from a similar set of principles. Uh, but we, I think we see a less constrictive or kind of by the book use of those practices because those teams are going to be experimenting to learn.